Hi, it's Dougie from Valto, and in this video we're going to be talking about filtering galleries so users only see the items that they have created. Now this is using items from SharePoint and it's a follow-on video from replacing uh, paper-based processes uh, with Power Apps. So, what I've done since uh, from the last video is I've added a couple of extra items using a totally different account. So the account I used was just called Flow, it was just a test account. But I want to be able to easily see inside of my items who has created these uh, items. So I know that when I'm then applying my filtering that it is only going to be the items of, of the people who have created it that I can see. So to do this, I'm going to insert a new label and I want to easily be able to see who has created this. So I'm just going to add a bit of text down the bottom over here, like so. And what I'm going to then replace this with, uh, so at the moment, uh, it's just got this text in here. So I want to know who's created this item. So I can say this item dot created by. And again, there's multiple properties of this. So I need to click on the full stop and say display name. And now this is going to show me the name of the person who has created the item. That's why I can see some are being created by myself and some are being created by a test account that I've just got that is called Flow. Now we can easily see who has created those items. We now need to update our formula of our gallery to make sure that we're only seeing the items which um, the user that's viewing the app um, has actually created. So to do that, we click on the Browse Gallery, and you'll see under the Properties of Items, this is where we can see all, all of the formula for what items are being populated inside this gallery. Now, the easiest way to um, apply this kind of filter is we can see we've already got a filter on the instant data, which is the data that's coming from SharePoint, um, and it's already sort of um, filtering, say, starts with the title of the search box. That's how the search box works. It's passing in any values from the search box. We can also add another filter by, if just after this closing tag, we put another comma, and then within here, we can then put in, for example, something like... Um, well, it's what we're trying to do is compare the created by of the SharePoint item against the current user that's viewing it. So to do that, we need to write a formula which is basically saying the, the created by um, is equal to the current user. So to compare this, what we would usually do is something like saying created by. So this is the created by. So this is the SharePoint field. And then we would say dot again, because there's multiple values now we could be comparing. So the best is probably to compare something like the email. Um, so we're saying the, so the email address of the person who's created it is equal to, and now you can use a little um, thing called user. And then this is selecting the current user, which is looking at this app. And again, we're now going to compare the, the email address of the current user to the email of the um, created by. And then once we put in our closing tag, that should then um, now filter down those items. So it's only going to show us uh, the uh, items that the current user viewing the app has uh, created. So we click on play, we can test this. We no longer see um, the items that have been created by that Flow account. This video is one of a series where we're creating and customizing Canvas Power App, so please be sure to check out the rest of the playlist. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you need help, we do offer professional services, including bespoke development, pre-built solutions, training packages, and a pay-as-you-go support service, which bridges those knowledge gaps within your existing team. All of our employees are based in the UK and have years of experience deploying solutions with small businesses, as well as large enterprise organizations. We offer a free consultation with a no obligation quotation. If this all sounds good, drop us an email, ask for Dougie, and I look forward to hearing from you soon.